Welcome back to my channel. First thing first. So guys, I live in a really tight, like tight apartment. So because of that, and I've got a black wall, black feature wall. Um, I think I want to put the open plan data. So I decided to come in and also hook myself up with something that looks at least and feels like an open plan. It is an open plan, but it's tight. So I just wanted to look bigger, higher ceilings. Let me show you what I did. Please don't call me DIY for nothing. DIY queen for nothing. So a friend helped me cover the wall with Rhino lights. This thing takes about three days to dry, guys. <laughs> that corners didn't look nice to me anymore, so I wanted like a high ceiling vibe because my place is really tiny. Mixed my own um, Rhino lights to replace the little part on top. It's it's quite hard, and you need a lot of tools to smooth this thing out. It was Deca taking get a professional to do this. I tried it though. Two days later, the damn part that I did myself is still not dry. Mara awa. On to the next one. So I decided to tape all these little things, your plugs, your little um, light fixtures. I don't know, what do you call these things? Yeah, these small things that you don't want paint on. Cover all of them with tape, plastic, whatever you can. Just cover them so that they don't get damaged by paint when you do start painting. Because the wall is raw, you need to prime it with plaster prime so i you know use this small brush to prime all the little corners so all the corners so i'm creating a border with a small brush and then also prime all the little pieces that you know your roller can't get to uh, and then as soon as that's done then you can go in with your big fat roller Primer done, I waited for about three hours for the primer to dry and then only can we move on. I'm using cornices because it's easy to cut and because I'm on my own, um, I can literally do whatever I can. I created a border on the floor just to see how it looks before putting anything up. Use acrylic glue or a corners filler to mount your cornices onto the wall. Soon as your structure is done and dry, then go back with the filler and just fill in the little holes just so that when you paint you don't see little holes between the wall you don't see like a gap between the wall and your structure so this is just a filler to merge everything together smoothly lightly it's one of the steps you, that you should not skip I decided to add another border inside using wood sticks. Favorite part now it's starting to look like something 
I'm going to paint all around the wall with this amazing beige color. I don't know what it's called, but it's a beautiful, natural hala hala. A day later, Painters Dry family came through to help me out with wallpaper. So I'm putting wallpapers inside my second structure, my second square. Oh, guys, this is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Do you know how tired I was? This is like day four of one project or day five. I actually, I've lost count, but just one, one project. Running on and on. It's coming together. Ah, guys, Jesus, I tried so many times. Finally, everything is dry. El Shelot is here to help me put up my deco. Like, smooth sailing now. Like, subscribe, da 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 di zi, baman, wari jaja. We'll see you next time.